Hello friends, I am Suyok. From today onwards, we are going to start our lecture series. In that, my subject is Engineering Materials. Our today's topic of discussion is Metals. The metals get classified into ferrous and non-ferrous. These are the classification in front of you. Both ferrous and non-ferrous get classified into metals and alloys. What is alloy? Alloy is nothing but the combination of two or more metals. Why we need this alloying? Because we need to enhance the properties of base material. And the mercury is the only non-ferrous metal that is in liquid state at a room temperature. Now we will see ferrous metals. Ferrous metals are metals that consist mostly of iron and a small amount of other element. Ferrous metals are the prone to rust if it is exposed to the atmosphere. And the ferrous metals can also be picked up by a magnet. The rusting and the magnetic properties in the ferrous metals are both down due to the iron. Typically, ferrous metals are include mild steel, cast iron and a steel. Now we are going to see the one by one examples of ferrous metals. First is mild steel. Mild steel is a ductile and malleable. And when it is come in frequent contact with water, it gets rusted. Its melting point is 600 degrees Celsius. The application of mild steel are, it is used as nut and bolt. After that, car bodies in constructions and a gates. The next example is cast iron. It is a very strong when it is in compression and it is in brittle in nature. It consists of 93% of iron and 4% of carbon and plus another element. The highest percentage of carbon in cast iron is 6.67. There is a reason behind 6.67. We will see this reason in upcoming lectures. Melting point of cast iron is 1200 degrees Celsius. And the application of cast iron is, it is used as a car brake disc, car cylinders, metal work wise and manhole covers. The next is high carbon steel. It is a very strong and a high very hard steel that has a very high resistance to abrasion. It contained 1.5 percentage of carbon. Its application are hand tools such as screwdrivers, hammers, chisels, saws, spring and garden tools. Melting point is 1800 degrees Celsius. Next is High speed steel. High speed steel is a metal containing a high content of tungsten, chromium, vanadium. However, it is a very brittle but it is also very resistant to wear. Because of this property, it is used for drill bit and lathe cutting tools. It is used where a high speed and a high temperature are created. Its melting point is 1400 degrees Celsius. Next is stainless steel. Stainless steel is very resistant to wear and water corrosion and rust. Its properties are it is an alloy of iron with a typical 18% chromium, 8% nickel and 8% of magnesium. Because of presence of nickel, it can able to resist corrosion. Its melting point is 1400 degrees Celsius and its application are kitchen sinks, teapots, cookware and surgical instrument. Now we are going to see non-ferrous metal. Non-ferrous metal are metal that do not have any iron content in them. This metal that non-ferrous metal are not attracted to a magnet and they also do not rust in the same way when they get exposed to the moisture. The typical examples 
of non ferrous material are aluminum copper zinc and so on now we are going to see them one by one first is aluminum aluminum is has a good malleability property that's why we will use cooking foils and also it tends to be light in color although it can be polished to a mirror like appearance it is very light in weight that's why it is used in aeroplanes its melting point is 660 degrees celsius and its application in window frame ladders bicycle and cooking foils next is copper it is a ductile and a malleable metal it is often red brown in color it is a very good conductor of heat and electricity because of its ductility it can drawn into wires its application are uses for plumbing electric components cookwares and roof coverings its melting point is 1084 degrees celsius now the zinc it is a very resistant to corrosion but it is very weak metal that's why it is mostly used for coating of steel so its application is used as a coating on a screw steel buckets etc it is also used to galvanize steel its melting point is 419 degree celsius now the next is tin it is a very ductile and a very malleable metal it is resistant to corrosion from moisture it is a bright silver in appearance tin plate is a steel with a tin coating and its applications are used as a coating on a food can beer can used as a whistle tin foil and soldering its melting point is 231 degrees celsius it is too low that's why it is used for soldering next is lead it is a soft malleable metal it is also counted as one of the heavy metal lead has a bluish white color after being freshly cut but it soon convert into dull greyish color when exposed to the air its applications are used for roof flashing also used for batteries and for extra protection lead is used for its weight in many ways its melting point is 327 degree celsius next is silver a soft white lustrous metal it has the highest electrical conductivity of any another element and the highest thermal conductivity of any other another element the metal occupy naturally it is a pure free form steel we use copper for electric applications why because silver has a very highest thermal and electrical conductivity because the copper is available at cheap rate now we see the application of silver it is used for jewelry and also used for making currency coins and so many applications its melting point is 961 degree celsius next is gold gold is a dense soft shiny malleable and ductile material pure gold has a bright yellow color and luster because of that its application is highly in jewelry also it is used in computer as a conductor and also it is used its reflective power to protect satellites the melting point of gold is 1337 degree celsius the next metal is magnesium magnesium is a fairly strong and silvery white lightweight metal 
its weight is one third of aluminium in a powder stage this metal heats and ignites when exposed to the moisture and burn with a white flame its applications are magnesium is used in fireworks it is alloyed with the other metals to make them lighter and more easily welded its melting point is 648 degrees celsius now we are going to see non ferrous metal alloys the non ferrous metal alloy are the metal that are a mixture of two or more metals the day to day examples are brass and bronze first we will see brass brass is a mixture of copper and zinc copper is the main compound and brass is usually classified as copper alloy the color of brass varies from a dark reddish brown to a light silvery yellow this is depends on the percentage of brass percentage of copper in a brass the application of brass is brass is used to make water fitting screw radiators musical instrument and so on its melting point is 940 degrees celsius next is bronze bronze is a metal alloy it is a combination of copper with tin tin is a main additive of it it is hard and brittle metal and it has a very high resistance to corrosion the application of bronze it is used in ship propellers underwater fitting and also used for statues and medals the melting point of bronze is 950 degrees celsius so today we will cover the different type of metals their classification and their appli- applications in the upcoming lectures we will cover their properties and their applications in mechanical engineering so stay tuned with us thank you